Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson, a geography lesson. I hope you've got your booklets ready in your pencils. We're going to be doing a lot of research today, you're going to be doing a lot of work by yourselves. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you find out, okay? Uh, so we're in lesson six. First thing to do though is to turn to the quiz, okay? And answer me these two questions. What does rural mean and what does urban mean, okay? Tick the right answer. And then we can track, get straight on to the uh, lesson. Remember, I'm not going to show you the answers or anything today because I want to see the answers and mark it in your, uh, when you send it to me on Seesaw. Okay, so we're looking at who were the ab Aboriginal people and what does Aboriginal mean? Now, the Aboriginal people were the people, the first people to settle in Australia and they arrived 50,000 years ago so they've lived in Australia for a very very long time okay and they've developed they've got their own language their own culture music art all the things that you associate with culture the Aboriginal have had and they've had it whilst living in Australia for such a long time so the group of people who've lived in Australia for a very 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 long time And it's not just the Aboriginal people are one group of people. They're actually Aboriginal, the Aboriginal people are a group of different tribes, so different groups of people who all speak a slightly different language as well. So if you look at this map of Australia, it's got all these little colours represent a different um, Aboriginal tribe that live there. There's so many different tribes in Australia. So that we can't really say that they're one group of people. They're lots of group of people. Okay, there's so many, and they all live um, uh, in Australia. They've lived there for such a long time, and they've got uh, their own language, and they've got their own culture. And we'll be looking at that today to find out what that means. Okay, now because there's so many different tribes, a lot of average people. Um, use this flag to show that they are that they are Aboriginal, and it's this black flag uh, with red and a yellow um, circle there. Um, the black represents the the Aboriginal people of Australia. The red represents that red earth. I don't know, remember when we saw um, those pictures of the outback and the bushland in Australia. The, the ground's very orange and red, so that's what it represents. And that yellow disc. What do you think that represents? Yep, the sun. The sun, because Australia is a very hot place, so it represents the sun that shines down on the land, the giver of life and the protector. Okay, so what you're going to be doing today is doing some research. I could, I could, you could watch this video of me telling you everything about the Aboriginal people who live in Australia, but I think you should do some research. I think you could go and find out. Okay. What can you find out? What I'm going to do is put some links underneath this video on YouTube. So look, click on the links and they will take you to videos to tell you about some things um, about Aboriginal people. Okay, so I want you to find out these sorts of things. What is a boomerang? Okay, there's a picture of a boomerang just here. What is a boomerang? What was it used for? Okay. What can you find out about Aboriginal art? How do they um, how do they make those pictures? Okay, find out those Aboriginal pictures. Google them. Okay, go on YouTube. Find out all you can. Okay, what's a didgeridoo? That's a great word. Didgeridoo. Okay, well, it's a musical instrument that Aboriginal people sometimes play. Find out about it. Find out about music and dance. Okay, all very unique to Aboriginal Australia. Um, find out about this thing called the dream time. What is the dream time? Okay, this is all stuff you can find about search it in Google go on YouTube Okay, there's lots of things Look, click on the links underneath to uh, find out and Also daily life. What's life like for Aboriginal people? Okay With this is all the stuff. I want you to find out There's lots of information you can find out about the, the art the 
the culture, the language, all these amazing things. The internet is there for you to go and find out, okay? And then tell me what you find out. There's lots of amazing things, okay? And then what I want you to do when you've got all that information is tell me about it. Now, in your um, in your book that you've got two par two questions here. Who are the Aboriginal people of Australia? And the other question is, um, what do you know about the culture of Aboriginal people? And what I'd like you to do is when you found out all that information, okay, have a go at writing a few sentences about it. What did you find out? You could also, if you don't want to write the sentences, you could also tell me about it, okay? You could record your answers. You could tell me what you found out. You might even have a go at some Aboriginal art. You might draw some Aboriginal pictures, okay? Find a video that shows how to do that. And then um, send it to me. That's absolutely fine, okay? So I want you to find out these two things. Who are the Aboriginal people of Australia? When you go to write that, you might write a sentence. The, make sure you write it in a full sentence. So it would be the Aboriginal people of Australia were the, can you remember who? Were they the first or the second people to live in Australia? The first. They were the first. Remember, it starts, says at the beginning, of the, were the first people to settle, which means live, okay, and stay in Australia. <laughs> Your handwriting is going to be much neater than mine. Australia needs a capital A. Why is that? Why does Australia need a capital A? It's a proper noun, yeah. Australia. I couldn't remember how long they, we said they'd live there. They have lived in Australia. Thousand years is such a long time. Okay, lots of people, lots of children being born, lots of people living there. Okay, right. So when you've answered to to that one, this is where you can have some fun. What do you know about Aboriginal culture? What did you find out? Okay, the links are down there, but there's so many things you can go on the on the internet to find out. There's videos you can watch. There's websites you can go to to find out about these things. Okay. I want you to show me what you've learned. You can show me by writing a few sentences. You can show me by drawing a picture. You could create a sheet, a fact sheet with all the different facts on that you found out. OK, maybe you could learn a few words in one of the Aboriginal languages. OK, there's lots of different things you could do. I'm really excited for you to go and find out about Aboriginal Australians. OK, and what you can find out about them. There's so much to learn that I'm not going to tell you what you have to do. Remember those words, those key words that I had back there? Boomerang, didgeridoo, the dream time, um, finding out about the, the music and the art. Those are some ideas, but you can go and find out about anything you want to find out, okay? Tell me what you found out. I'm really excited to hear from what you've got to say. I'm really looking forward to this, guys. So make sure you send in your responses. Remember, you can write them, you can record them, you can take photos of them, anything. It's really exciting. I'm really excited to hear what you've got to say about it. So those two questions. Who are the Aboriginal people of Australia? And what do you know about Aboriginal culture? What can you find out? OK, the links are down there to get you started. But there's so much more out there. OK, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've got and um good luck with the finding i hope you find it as exciting as me i'll see you in the next lesson bye bye